Hi, my name is Tristan Kimple, and on this edition of Turbo Talks, we're going to talk about the importance of balancing turbochargers. So a lot of people ask about the importance of balancing turbochargers. And a lot of the questions that come up are usually in regards to why do I need to balance my turbocharger? Or what would happen if my turbo was out of balance? And those are very good questions and we decided that we would discuss those today with you. So here at Precision Turbo and Engine, every turbo that we build gets balanced. We component level balance all the components that go into a turbocharger whether that be a compressor wheel or the turbine wheel. All of them are individually balanced and then they're actually balanced as assemblies later on. So you can be assured that every turbo that leaves our facility is balanced and ready to go. But what happens if the turbo goes out of balance? And that's something that's very common when we see something like foreign object damage. Now this could be simply a rock that gets sucked up into the compressor wheel or maybe a piece of spark plug or valve that goes through the turbine wheel. In either case, it actually takes a small piece out of the wheel, and with that, it starts to cause what we consider an imbalance. This puts the turbocharger slightly out of balance. And what this can cause is a reduction in the performance of the turbocharger, meaning less boost, lower horsepower numbers, and it can lead up to an actual bearing failure. Um, if that vibration and harmonic gets bad enough, it can cause a complete failure of the bearing and turbocharger system. So we always want to make sure that in the case of a foreign object damage you know, to a compressor wheel or a turbine wheel, that we send the turbo in so we can inspect it, see if that wheel can still be used and rebalanced, or if that ne wheel needs to be replaced to make sure that your unit is working at optimal performance and performing the absolute best it can. So one of the main reasons to balance a turbocharger is obviously to make sure we don't have a catastrophic failure. If a turbocharger is severely out of balance, it's going to fail rather quickly. And when it fails, it's usually going to destroy most of the turbo. So we want to make sure that it's in balance so that we do not have any of these issues. Uh, when you're dealing with a turbocharger, dealing with multiple components that are spinning at a very high rate of speed, it's not uncommon to see over 100,000 RPM on the shaft speed on these units. So we want to make sure that they are balanced well so that they will be able to survive in that environment. So thank you for tuning in to another edition of Turbo Talks. My name is Tristan Kimple, and we hope to see you next time.